Hi everyone, Professor Ullman here. We're here to talk about improper integrals today. Now, when we think about uh, improper, the word improper, we're normally uh, thinking about something that sounds maybe a bit naughty. Uh, I know that there's, uh, you know, there's a notion of improper language, certainly. But uh, when we talk about uh, when we talk about improper in math, what we're really thinking about is something that is not really the conventional way that we originally learned it. So for example, an improper fraction is one where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Uh, of course, you all learned about fractions initially. You learned about the, the, the numerator is less than the denominator. You'd create a mixed number if you had a situation like 10 over 7. And then uh, eventually you learned that it was OK to have an improper fraction. It's not saying there's anything wrong with this fraction. It's just not, not the normal way that it was learned. So when we talk about an improper integral, what's different about it from a regular integral is that the, uh, the interval of integration it actually is one of two possible things. Either the interval of integration is of infinite length, or uh, we have a finite length interval of integration, but the integral itself tends to infinity on that integration. So usually uh, when we're talking about an improper integral, we're talking about an integral that has some sort of infinity issue. So let's see how we deal with improper integrals.